Good morning. Oh my gosh, on this phone I can rotate it while it's recording. That's so good to know. Anyways, good morning guys. Welcome back to Don't Catch Your Name. This is Vlogtober Day 3. I literally just got done editing Vlogtober Day 2. I mean, sis is sitting here. Say good morning. She's like, whatever. Yes, she has a can of Vienna sausages that she plays with. It's closed. <laughs> and I just threw the floor. She has a potato. <laughs> She chews on it, or you know, nubs on it. She's just a baby. She can't chew on it. She's not have teeth yet. But uh, those are things that she enjoys, so I let her have them. <laughs> but anyways, I just got done uh, record or uh, editing yesterday's Vlogtober, so now I'm gonna start today's. And I also got to film a another video here in a minute for hashtag Podcaster Spirit Week. I think that's it. I gotta I gotta check that before I uh. Make that video. Oh, I'm trying to clean off my desk. I got stuff everywhere. So I can set the camera down. Oh, it's a little crooked, but that's okay. We I had the door open, letting some fresh air in here, and uh, now a little more hair. A little closer. Okay. <laughs> now I closed it because my neighbor's outside, and I don't want her to be talking to myself essentially, because uh, that would be weird. <laughs> but uh, this is. I'm gonna go ahead and open this, but then I'll let Jesse hang it up. He's still sleeping. Because me and Trim get up for everybody, don't we? So this is the window clean, day three. Oh, it is a cute spider. It is so cute. I love him. <laughs> okay, and then here is my scrap ball for today. My little thing is a cat witch. My little tag. I'm saving all these for my junk journal. Because uh, they're already pre-made tags. Ain't that right, Tizzy? I don't have anything I've got to eat in You want this bag? You want to eat this bag? It's crinkly. So my yarn today is a pretty blue color. It's like a light blue. Another six slits. I'll give those to Jesse. That's the other ones right here from this year. I forgot to give them to him. And what is this? Oh, it's like Pop Rocks, but it's a uh, Kool Aid brand. Tropical Punch. Is that what it says? Yeah. That's an interesting triangular package. <laughs> That'll be interesting. <laughs> so I'll put this in my blanket. I did put the other one in my blanket yesterday. Let me go grab it real quick. Okay. Um, so this is my Halloween blanket from last year. I had someone ask. I'll pop up the comment. Because I don't forgot the username now. <laughs> but I, I took a screenshot of it. Uh, about the blanket that was in my prof or thumbnail. Are you good? Oh, oh goodness. So it was for Craftober last year, hosted by uh, Stitch and Easy. I always want to say Crochet and Easy. Easy Stitch and Easy and uh, Manic Mama Amusing. They're also doing it again this year. Uh, but I'm not per I'm not starting over this year for the new blanket. I'm just adding to my old one. So we started with a center square, which was a spider web last year. Ma'am, I'm trying to tell. Oh, dad, dad. Um, I'll link the pattern for the square down below in the description box. There's a wrench tutorial and a video tutorial. I can't remember off the top of my head who, who wrote the pattern, but I'll find it. And then I just put random Halloween-y appliques on mine. But it's just scrap. I scrap blanket. I used all my Halloween balls last year for my swap plus some extra ones. Um, and now I'm doing that again this year. So this year I've added this dark blue. It did like half the blanket. Let's see here. There's where I added the dark blue. And then it went all the way to this corner. Yeah. And then all the way, almost to this other corner. And then yesterday's ball was that multicolor one. So I started it there. And it uh, started changing colors on me. <laughs> so there it's got like yellowy and green. And it started getting bright green. And then it started adding blue. <laughs> That's so cool. It kept coming. I was like, oh my gosh. And it made it almost a whole round uh, with dark blue. So, there's where it ran out, and there's the <laughs> start. So, today I'll be adding this color on there, and I'll finish off this round, and then start into the next round. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep making it uh, bigger, and we'll see how big it comes. Can you quit leaning? That makes me nervous. And put your other foot. She keeps putting both her feet out one hole. <laughs> um, keep adding to it and see how big it gets. It's, it's a pretty decent size right now, but I want it bigger. <laughs> So that is my blanket. So it's just a double crochet. I'm using an eye hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter with worsted weight acrylic yarns. 
I did add just some eyeballs and some spiders throughout it. And I actually entered this in my fair this past last uh, September. <laughs> this, you know, last month. Um, and I got a blue ribbon. Or not a blue, a red ribbon. Take it place. So I was pretty excited about that. So I'm adding to it. I'm going to eat it onto the couch. <laughs> and I'll take this in there and add it eventually sometime today. But yeah, so that's that. Also, yesterday my mom went to a benefit uh, for a friend of hers, husband who got injured. Um, and she bought me a box of yarn. Oh, I just threw one. A box of yarn. It's a tomato box. <laughs> so it's got a bunch of yarn in it. Uh, one is this crazy loopy yarn. This is Red Heart Boutique Swerve. And then there's also like a scarf that someone made out of that <laughs> in there. And then there's this bright orange, which I'm almost out of. So it's perfect that I got this. I'm super excited to get that. And then there is some Lime Brand Chenille Thick and Quick in a pretty blue, greeny, blue teal color. And then there is some Pip Squeak. Two balls of that. Which is a pain in the butt to work with, but I'll use it for something, I'm sure. Or I'll give it to somebody. <laughs> and then there is some Red Heart Boutique Fur. There's this green color and a pretty pink color. It's pretty thick. It's different than like eyelash. So I'm going to use that for something. I don't want something. And then there is, uh, let's see here. Some of these are older. Definitely older. This is a Kmart brand. It just says Kmart. <laughs> uh, Sayel Baby Yarn. Really thin. This is like a, a one or a two. It doesn't say. <laughs> And then there's a red heart baby yarn. Fingering. So that's probably fingering too. What color? And then there's this random multicolor one. And then there's a like a probably a three white ball blobbed up. This is like a this feels like the line brand uh, hometown or whatever. It's like a number five, I think. And then there's this weird one that's wool. I'm getting rid of that one. I like that one tell by touching it that it's wool and then there's this one and then there's like a red heart hot red with a little start on it there's a scrap of a bulky purple and then there's a random thing of dollar tree nautical rope which is what i made my wall hanging with <laughs> but yeah so that's everything that's in that box so i'm gonna i'll be keeping that red be getting rid of the excess wool probably get rid of these little skinny ones because i don't like uh oh I'll keep the fur probably will get rid of this too because I don't like that look yarn. <laughs> Chanel I'll keep the pip squeak maybe I'll definitely keep the orange but anyways she bought it for me because she knows I love yarn and um it was helping out people who need help so that's that and Jessie got a bunch of toys as well <laughs> and I'm sure she got some stuff she told me some things that she got but I can't remember now but anyways I just want to share it with you guys so I'm going to go ahead and hop off here <laughs> And uh, I gotta get ready to film that one video in a minute. So I'll see you guys in that video, I guess. <laughs>